Hey guys, these are timeless note messages. So if these messages resonate with you, give me a like, share, subscribe, you guys. So I'm getting um I'm getting a few things. But I'm getting um I only got four minutes to do what I gotta do to prove to you that I'ma do anything. Cause in four minutes Say what I gotta say to make you stay and show you that I didn't change. Cause in four minutes, I'll never have my girl again. I'm a loser to some other man. Full of no less, no more. I'm desperate cause the clock's ticking. Only got four minutes to go. I was out of breath singing that song. Jeez, that is by Avant. I didn't even realize that was just like one of them songs that you gotta really take a break. Somebody's probably out of breath trying to talk to you. Like I was really out of breath. I I, I, I lost my breath like three, four times. <laughs> so I'm getting someone. I'm just thinking about the video, how he was just like so desperate to get to her house before in four minutes or something like, he, or he was trying to get to her for, I don't know. I think I'm probably thinking about another video, but I'm getting someone is really like rushing towards you. Okay. <sighs> to talk to you and convince you that they have changed. Um, bottom of the deck, six of, six of sticks. Okay. I'm getting they don't want to lose you. Um, they don't want they don't want to lose you to someone else, okay? Because I'm I'm strongly getting like somebody's like rushing. That's all they're thinking about is actually probably losing you losing you to somebody else. Which is I'm not sure if that is really the case. I really feel like this person is probably like running out of time of your patience because I'm getting this tired type of energy here. Like, you may be tired of this person, okay? It's like, they don't want to see you with somebody else. This is what this is about. They know that either you, either they ran out of time or they're running out of time to get to you. So, they are desperate to get in your energy is what I'm getting here. If you're dating someone else, they are probably willing to compete with that person. They want to get this person the fuck out of here, okay? They're trying to throw this person over the boat. I'm getting you already gave this person numerous amounts of chances here. I'm getting you're you're gone. It's like you're you're done or somebody is just being mad dramatic. I don't even think that you like doing anything. I don't think you're even saying anything. Okay. I'm strongly getting like this person probably want to come in and show you that they may have changed or they want to heal this connection with you. Okay. Um, this is definitely somebody who could be like a wounded warrior here or somebody just wants some type of victory and success with you. I would be careful with this person because this person could be actually in their ego, but they're really determined to have some type of victory and success with you here. Okay. Somebody want to come in and get some type of recognition from you. They want some type of attention from you as well. Um, I'm strongly getting like maybe I, I I don't I don't I'm not sure about this six of sticks energy here. I mean I'm getting this is someone who made some big improvements in their life. They probably want to show you this or show off to you that they made big improvements in your life. But I'm strongly getting like I'm, I'm getting a catch here. It's like a catch twenty two or there is some type of motive here. Let me not because I I, I don't want to ruin a good reading here but i'm strongly getting that type of energy it's like something is here okay there is some type of catch here or something whatever okay we'll see what i'm actually feeling here okay um the overall energy you got the six of sticks ace of coins and an iron baskets here okay maybe i was right here so i'm strongly getting like somebody wants some type of victory and success and a new beginning here okay they look at you as their wish fulfillment as well here this is probably somebody who look at you as if you look at the wish fulfillment card this is somebody who 
they they either want to give you all these things here you got a flower in here you got jewelry money okay you got wine you got a food a passport i'm not sure what the heck this is but there's books in here too knowledge here um this could be somebody who probably wants to be this 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 could be somebody who wants to be like a power couple with you or somebody who wants some type of fame and recognition with you or something. There's nothing wrong with that, but, you know, I just feel like this is probably what this person's focus is, okay? Um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that either, but this is what I was getting before I pulled these other cards here. So, um... I'm getting this energy that if you guys do get together, this is this is going to happen here. This is what is actually going to be coming into fruition. You guys are going to get some type of fame or recognition, or you guys are going to have some. Y'all are going to be manifesting goals together, uh, manifesting stability together, getting a wish fulfillment. Okay, nine of cups energy here. I'm strongly getting that type of energy here, but. Maybe you just want to make sure that this is not what this person's main focus is, okay? Six of knives, four of baskets, and a five of coins. Five of six, and the ace of baskets here, okay? Yeah. So, this is why this person is, like, rushing towards you here. Because you may be actually refusing to offer either from this person or you're refusing to offer from a lot of people here. I feel like you may be... Moving on is what I'm getting here. And this person is coming at the nick of time here. Okay, I feel like you have healed from this person. Probably feel relieved from this person here. And they're coming in with an offer here. They're probably coming in with different types of offer here, offers here. This, is per this person is coming in. Maybe with they came in with different type of baskets here. It's like every basket that they come in, it gets bigger. Okay, so this person is coming in with a bigger basket here. Okay, the letters Z... ZG or NG could be very significant here. I feel like you're kind of like tired of this person here. It's something about the timing here, okay? I feel like this person wants to heal this connection here. They may be feeling out in the cold from you, okay? But this person wants to heal this connection here. You got five, five. This connection may have exuded in a whole bunch of conflict and challenges is what I'm getting here. A whole bunch of gossip here. This person may have put you in some type of pet competitive competition or challenge with other people. Obviously, there's some type of rivalry or enemy that's involved here, but I'm strongly getting like, I'm strongly getting with this Ace of Baskets here. You guys really love each other, okay? You can't miss that with the Ace of Baskets here. I'm strongly getting like this is probably going to be a new beginning, a new start, a new relationship, but I feel like you may need to probably express to this person how you actually feel, okay? You may be, you may need to probably set boundaries with this person or this is what you're doing at this time here. I feel like you're kind of like burnt out and fed up with this person because maybe this person puts you through a lot or you guys probably been through a lot in this connection, okay? And then you got the father of knives, which is about the timing here, okay? This person got four minutes to do what they got to do to prove to you. I don't think it's a problem, okay? Because I feel like this person is, they're more determined than anything to show you that they have changed or they're ready and willing to do this because you, you are their wish fulfillment here, okay? This is somebody who wants to start fresh with you, period, here, and they love you, okay? This person... um, Maybe this is their biologi biological clock, or maybe this is yours, or you guys' connection clock is ticking here. The time is ticking for you guys' connection here, okay? And I'm getting this energy where as though this person is just, like, desperate because the clock is ticking, or it's, it's just like they're desperate. I wouldn't say desperate. They just know the time is up here. This is probably how somebody look here. They probably look older, or they're realizing that they're getting older. Time waits for no one is what I'm getting here. Okay, um, yeah, you got the Ten of Baskets, Father of Coins, and the Eight of Six. Yeah, this person is coming towards you here because they want to have a family with you. Period. This is probably your husband. You're probably already married to this person. 
Um, you probably already have a strong connection towards this person here. Either way, this person sees you as their family. They see you as their wish fulfillment here. This is somebody who you and this you you both have unconditional love with each other. That was a confirmation if you guys heard that alarm. This person is coming in to communicate with you here. This is somebody you got the free man, which is the what is that card? <laughs> The free man. Somebody's having in the beginning here. Okay. This is tits taking a leap of faith here. Number zero here. What is that card? I don't even know. How am I blank here? But somebody wants to have a new beginning with you here. They're determined to have victory and success here. Okay. This is somebody who is making a decision to move forward here. They're taking their chances here with you here. Okay. Maybe this is somebody who may have been holding back, okay, they may have been very immature in the past or very foolish in the past or neglected you in some type of way in the past, but this person is completely intoxicated with you, okay, this person probably wants you to come meet their family here, I love this picture, okay, this person wants you to come and meet their family here, because this is somebody who made a decision about you here, okay, you got the ace of wands here, okay, completely making a decision about you here like i said this is somebody who's probably going to come in and show off and show you that they made improvements in their life and i'm sure i'm getting this energy that they really did make some big improvements in their life or big changes in their life because at the end of the day time is clicking here i mean time waits for no one no one's getting younger here i feel like if it was some type of gossip or challenges in you guys connection here i feel like the love kind of like over over subside that i feel like the love is just too strong for you guys to not make it work or not try to make it work okay this could be new love as well but i'm strongly getting like this is like a renewal for you guys here okay so this is new passion new love okay be careful if you guys don't want to get pregnant because you might you guys might get pregnant here okay um, you guys are probably already pregnant. Okay. So you got two aces here and then you have the five of baskets here. Five of baskets, nine of six, and a two of knives. This is you protecting yourself. Okay. I'm strongly getting like you may still be focusing on something that may have happened in the past. Your emotions are still involved in something that happened in the past or still focus on the loss of the past here. Okay. Probably still crying over spilt milk. So this is you in this gung-ho type of energy here. You got the gun and you got the Bible. Well, she got a Bible. Yeah, she the gun and the Bible here. Your goons is right behind you, which is your spirit guides and your ancestors here. Okay. I feel like you are you are protecting yourself, but I feel like you are going to make a decision to make amends with this person here. And I feel like it's going to call this is the wow, this is beautiful here. It's going to cause some type of justice for both of you guys here. This is karmic justice for the both of you guys. This is the truth here, okay? I feel like you're going to just make a judgment call on a situation here. And you are going to start a new relationship with this person here, okay? Now, you guys may have, have people that's going to be talking about you guys' connection here, blah, blah, blah. It happens. Everybody talks about everybody's connection here. You guys are going to continue to focus on each other, okay? Um, or you should, because there is people behind the scenes or family members or friends or outside influences that's going to have a lot to say about you guys' connection. But nobody can tell you guys about y'all connection, okay? Whoever this is, whoever this is to you, I mean, it, it don't have to be a relationship. It can be a family member that you're uh, making amends with or a co-worker. I doubt that, but... You love this person and they love you and, and you guys are you guys are infatuated with each other here. Eight of coins here. You guys are going to build on this connection here. It may have been some type of betrayal in this connection here. Or you or you really just you feel like this person have a lot of secrets here. Okay. <clears throat> My throat shocker is, is um going crazy this morning. Oh, okay. So 
this is this is past energy, okay? Like you may have found out some shit and and you may have felt backstabbed and betrayed. You found out some type of secrets here, okay? Some shit has probably manifested with this person here, but I feel like this person is going to protect this connection here with this son of knives here. This could be an emperor here, okay? This person is going to be protecting this connection here because they still want to have this new beginning with you, okay? This could be somebody who's going through a spiritual transformation, okay? They're in transition here, but this person will literally cut somebody if they fuck with this connection here or it's both of you guys, but I'm strongly getting with it right next to this emperor card here. I feel like this person don't play no fucking games here, okay? Yeah, this is... Definitely a new beginning with somebody from your past here, okay? Let me show you guys. Definitely a new beginning from somebody from your past here. This could be somebody who you grew up with. Yeah. This is a solid new beginning with the Empress energy. You got the Emperor and the Empress right next to each other. It's, it's looking like... It's looking like ancestors and guides. It's looking like your guides. It's like pushing you guys together here. Because this is just full of love here. Two people are deciding to be with each other because this is just full of love here. I mean, what can you do with your heart if you love you love somebody? I'm hearing a song of a broken heart, something of a broken heart. This person or you probably realize that you guys, it was just a whole bunch of bullshit in between, okay? Somebody may have believed some type of gossip here. There was a lot of talk in this connection here okay there was like a ringleader in this whole situation here that was talking shit here okay this definitely could have been an enemy to both of you guys okay so something was said and this could be the reason why you're contemplating because i mean if you guys are in a connection and you guys grew up with each other what type of gossip or anything needs to be fucking said without actually talking about it you, if somebody is talking about your partner or talking about somebody who you're close to, just ask the fucking person. There's no need to sit there and believe somebody who don't even know your person or don't have room to say it. I feel like somebody or you guys need to learn how to protect the connection or start speaking out for your partner. That's the most biggest thing I hear about people connection here. Take up for your partner. If somebody has something to say, let that person know that they don't need to have nothing. They don't. They don't have nothing to say about your partner. Period. At the present time, you have grandchildren. Grandchildren is the star card. So there is some type of renewal in this connection here. This is about um, healing, renewal, peace. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe this is both of you guys' mission here, okay? Very content energy here. A lot of confidence in this connection here. I'm very calm in this reading here. I feel like this is going to exude in a lot of victory and success here. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Pentacles. So I'm strongly getting like this is strongly a new beginning here. I've been getting new beginning in, the, in, in my readings for the past couple of days, so... And I'm feeling really good right now. So somebody may be like an influencer. Like I said, this could be like a power couple. A lot of people look up to you guys. Okay, this is um, somebody could be a public figure or somebody, maybe both of you guys are public figures. You guys have an audience here. Okay, I feel like a lot of people look up to you guys here. This is definitely some type of healing type of energy, okay? I'm strongly getting like maybe you guys have kids together or maybe you guys will have kids together. It's something about the grandchildren here. So I'm I'm probably getting into a past life energy or I'm just too far ahead here, okay? Queen of Cups. Somebody is in love with the Queen of Cups, okay? This is their person. They're in love with their person here, okay? If I'm moving ahead a little too much here, three kids are involved in the situation here. Somebody have three kids or you guys are going to have three kids together. I'm, you know, I'm just throwing that out there because the Queen of Cups is somebody who has three kids here. Okay. 
the queen of cups is definitely somebody who is very spiritual okay a very loving mature emotionally mature feminine energy okay very sweet very loving individual here okay queen of swords okay i'm getting a protective type of energy here yeah okay i feel like this queen of swords is protecting herself here okay Whoever this emperor is, this is somebody who they may be having some type of epiphanies right now. Maybe thinking about this connection or thinking about the past or what has been happening in you guys' connection here. And they want to get their power. They want to get the power back in this connection here. They want victory and success and they want to overcome these obstacles in this connection here. Okay. My root chakra has been tingling the whole time that I've been doing this reading here, okay? I'm strongly getting like, this is somebody who may be, they may be dependent on this Queen of Swords energy here, okay? Um, this could be a father figure, somebody who is an influencer here, okay? A very powerful manifester here as well, somebody who is very protective, um, practical, and logical here, okay? The letters D and V could be very significant here. Okay, Capricorn, Aries energy here. I'm strongly getting like this could be like the uh, your husband or a patriarch of the family here. This could be your father here. I feel like you are, this is this Queen of Swords energy protecting herself here. And I'm not saying something is wrong with this energy here or anything is wrong with this energy here. I feel like you have your reasons to be in this energy here. Libra Aquarius energy here. I feel like you're protecting yourself from this person because at some point this person probably was in the devil energy. They probably was um, very manipulative or they had some type of negative pattern or they had some type of dependency of bullying or just being a negative ass fucking person here. Okay. And that devil toxic ass energy. So I'm strongly getting with this Queen of Swords energy. You are protecting yourself because you, you, I'm strongly in like maybe this if you guys grew up with each other or you knew this person for a long time, it may have been some type of in and out energy because this is a renewal energy. This is not somebody new to you. This is somebody who you are completely comfortable with. You are protecting yourself from that type of energy here. You're not sure if this person is coming in with the same type of energy. But what I'm getting is this emperor energy has healed so this is somebody who is overcoming addictions here okay so i'm just letting you guys know this here this is somebody who is gaining their power back overcoming addictions here um uh, working on their independence freeing herself from shit that no longer served them detaching herself from some type of toxic energy here but i get why you are protecting yourself okay i feel like you are in this energy whereas though you're not you could be somebody who's very intelligent, very intuitive here. You may be getting the nudges that this person is working on herself and you probably want to give this person some time because you see that this person is still, it's still some type of attachment there. It doesn't mean that you should stop this person from coming towards you here. I am very calm in this reading here because I feel like both of you guys know the truth about how you guys feel about each other, so... I don't think it's a hold up. I just feel like it's not a rush for this to happen, this renewal to happen here. You want somebody to heal or continue to heal or get their power back. Because I feel like you are in this queen energy here and you want this person to be the patriarch, be the husband, okay? I get it, okay? You don't want to, you don't want to wear the pants in this family. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to wear the pants in this connection or this family. You want this person to be that person, okay? Eight of Cups in reverse, Wheel of Fortune, Emperor again, Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, maybe this is this energy where as though I feel like somebody, you're not communicating with this person. Like you may love this person, but I feel like you're not communicating with this person here, okay? You're not getting enough information about this person. Or you may be in denial. I'm strongly getting like an energy where it's, not, it's no denying that you guys love each other. That's there. But I feel like you're a little too headstrong or something here. And there's nothing wrong with that. 
I feel like maybe you could be blocking it. I don't think you're blocking this blessing here. I just feel like you're still in protective mode here. Even though you're like a very sweet, kind, loving person here, I feel like you still looking at this person probably like a liar or you're not getting enough information about this person or I just feel like you may feel like this person may try to be like a little distraction. Let me see. Yeah. You feel like this person is still a player is what I'm getting here, okay? You still feel like this person is going to try to charm you in some type of way or um, take advantage of you because you're in this Queen of Cups energy here. Yeah, it's like you want this, but you don't want to be a fool. I totally understand. So, I mean... You're still going to protect yourself. You may curse this person out or let this person know how you feel here. But this person is coming back because literally they look at you as their soulmate. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this. This is somebody who literally learned some type of karmic lesson or they made some positive changes in their life here. So I feel like either way, I feel like this person, this person is on the yes side. They feel like this is destined and fated to happen. And I feel like the setbacks and delays could possibly be you. And I'm sorry to say this, but I feel like you, it's nothing wrong with you protecting yourself, but I feel like you may not be getting the information that you need from this person here, okay? But I'm going to tell you from the cards, this is somebody who did make some positive changes in their life and they're making some positive changes as we speak. So the setbacks and delays could possibly be you or the setbacks and delays could be a child or somebody else that's immature or the setbacks and delays could be some like magic or manipulation, something like that. But I don't think it's going to block you guys from being together here. Okay. I feel like somebody just needs to calm down. Okay. A six of pentacles in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse, four of swords in reverse, five of cups in reverse, six of, six of wands in reverse, Six of Cups in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse, Magician in reverse, and a Nine of Cups. Yikes. Six, six, six. That could be very significant here. Three, three could be very significant here. So obviously there, there, there may have been a third party situation here. It's three, 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 six, six, six. Okay. So those numbers may be significant. Um, I feel like you kind of like, this is you still holding on to the past. You still, you're protecting yourself from maybe a third party situation. You don't want to, you don't want to be in a third party situation here. You may, you may, you may actually think that this person is dealing with somebody else or they are. I don't know. They may actually be getting rid of a third party situation, but obviously something is still there here. Another third party situation is still there. So you're in this defensive type of energy here. You're standing your ground here because if there is a third party situation involved here, there's a third party that's actually jealous and they're probably, they're, they're obviously involved here, okay? And I feel like you don't want this person to abuse their power of authority with you, okay? You feel like this is not going to go anywhere or you still, you feel like this is this this is going to repeat itself is what I'm getting here. I feel like you already done recovered from being with this person in a third party situation here, okay? Like you already done awakened to the fact that this person may have been in a third party situation. And I feel like you already done moved forward from this connection here. Because with the six of wands in reverse, you already have embedded in your head that this is not going to go anywhere. Is what I'm getting here. You already done seen the truth. You already forgave this person or forgave the situation here. You accepted this. And I feel like you're in this energy of not really caring. Okay. Like it's, it's like a, I don't give a fuck attitude. But as, like I said in the beginning, I feel like feel like you and this energy, like you're not really doing anything, okay? And you got the Six of Cups, Three of Wands, Magician in Reverse, and a Nine of Cups here. You feel like this person manipulated you and that was their wish fulfillment. 
you feel like this person is still stuck in some type of childish energy here and you feel like it's not going anywhere because you may feel like this person is still a trickster here or a con artist or they're going to manipulate you is what I'm getting here. So I get why you are in this Queen of Swords energy here. The letters A, J, S, D, and V can be very significant. So this is like a connection where as though you guys really need to communicate, okay? My my um heart chakra is tingling. The color green can be very significant. And my root chakra is tingling. The color red can be very significant. You guys really need to talk. Or you guys really need to talk about how each other feel. It's, it's all about emotions here, okay? Let me get one more round here. Oh, yeah, 30. You guys really love each other, but there is some you guys need to open. Communication is key. You guys need to open up a line of communication with each other. And if you are, if, if you guys are talking to each other, y'all need to be open about how each other feel and what each, each other is looking for in a connection here because... This Queen of Swords is guarded. This Emperor here, they're open, okay? They're, 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 they're ready. But obviously, there is some type of setbacks and delays here, okay? Five of Wands. Obviously, there is some type of conflict going on in the background here. Obviously, there is some type of competition or challenge or there's five other people gossiping or talking shit or having some type of pointless ass conflict in the background or something here okay but whoever this king of pentacles is could be this emperor or this could be somebody else um i feel like this is somebody who it, it they're trying to better their self but then it, it, the death card in reverse is it's somebody who keep repeating some type of pattern here. They're having a hard time repeating a pattern. And this is what this Queen of Swords is seeing. They're seeing the bullshit, okay? So maybe, because it's, you know, the Queen of Swords, she's somebody who's very intuitive. She knows this person is trying to do better, but they're in transition is what I'm getting here, okay? So I, I just strongly feel like maybe this Queen of Swords don't want to be in the middle of some type of conflict or pointless ass conflict that has nothing to do with them or him or her okay tell me more so this is something that i, I just totally get this okay somebody don't want to be a part of fucking drama here seven of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles nine of swords in reverse tower in reverse ten of swords in reverse seven of swords king of pentacles seven of cups two of cups page of swords in reverse temperance full in reverse queen of cups the moon and the page of cups in reverse. You know what the fuck is going on. That's the, that's the thing. You're too intuitive here. You can be an actual healer here. You may be somebody who speaks out, who speaks the truth here. Okay? You'll curse somebody out in a minute. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. You don't hold back the truth here. And I feel like somebody is used to like holding back the truth here. You may be speaking out here. Okay? I feel like somebody is... Somebody is probably moving on, but I'm I'm getting this to somebody who probably is staying put here. Or somebody is making a decision, but right now somebody is staying reserved and staying put here. I'm strongly getting like it's the Queen of Swords here, okay? The Queen of Swords is not doing anything. It's almost like this Queen of Swords is not doing anything until either something resolved or somebody handle their fucking business behind the scenes here is what i'm getting here so somebody can't step to the queen of swords until they finish their whatever the fuck is going on here with this five of wands energy here which is none of this queen of swords business and i don't think it, the queen of swords wanted to be your business here so it's looking like somebody is avoiding a situation that is probably very dysfunctional here kind of pointless there is no opportunities here there is no type of manifestations here okay it's looking like somebody is leaving some type of conflict here so they are leaving some type of conflict or some type of bullshit that's going on in the background it's looking like somebody else is trying to keep some type of conflict going here okay it happens okay somebody is really trying to get in between you guys connection here okay um 
whoever this king of pentacles is this it could be this um emperor here i feel like this person is like trying to sneak away from some type of bullshit this could be somebody who is actually surviving some type of disaster with another option here so this person is bettering yourself i just want to keep saying it because it's looking like they are so if you don't think they are they are okay and they could be in a connection with somebody or trying to get away from a connection with somebody who is probably playing mind games, okay? They're probably being malicious towards somebody, knowing that somebody wants to heal. And the reason why this person is, whoever this five of wands energy is, could be, could be a Leo, Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. This person is, they know this person wants to heal. They, they know this person wants to heal a connection with somebody. They know this person is looking at things at another perspective. Or they know this person is choosing their soulmate here. And I feel like somebody is trying to distract them from healing here. So that is the biggest thing here, okay? Somebody is trying to distract somebody from healing something with their Queen of Cups, Okay. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy is the same person here. The Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords is very intuitive. They know exactly what the fuck is going on. It could be actually a psychic here. They're very intu intuitive. Somebody uses their intuition. They know what the fuck is going on. They know that somebody is in this scenario with this Five of Wands energy is very immature and very vindictive and very envious here. Okay, this is somebody who obviously you guys cannot trust this outsider this is an outside influence that you guys cannot trust somebody who may have some type of childhood wounding here the very promiscuous and seductive type of energy here so maybe this person is really trying to distract this person from this queen of cups energy and it's not working here because this is who this emperor is focused on okay this king of pentacles is actually sneaking away from something here they're they're running away from another situation. So if there is a third party here that's trying to deceive and make it seem like, or not make it seem like, or trying to distract somebody, it's kind of pathetic here. If you have to feel like you have to manipulate or distract somebody from somebody else, you got to be some type of desperate, pathetic ass person here. Because ain't no way somebody is going to sit there and force somebody to be with them. Literally in this page of cups energy here. This is somebody who is trying to seduce somebody here to distract them from, from their lover or their wife. I don't know how many times we, like people have to understand, like people don't leave their, their wife for third parties. They may, maybe back in the day, but I don't, I, you know, nowadays I don't, you know, that shit don't be happening as often as you think it does. Okay. Four of Pentacles, somebody is going to be holding this shit the fuck down here because literally they see another perspective of this third party here. I feel like this third party really tried to off this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords energy here. They tried to sacrifice this person, probably tried to cloak their energy here, tried to change somebody's mind about their person here, okay? Somebody is letting go of that person here. They see exactly what they need to see. They see that this person is trying to get them to repeat some type of pattern here, clearly, they want somebody to repeat a pattern. They want somebody to move on from this Queen of Pentacles energy here. But, I mean, somebody is somebody is standing up for herself and they actually should stand up for this connection here and tell this person to fuck off. That's what I'm getting here. So whoever this childish energy is and this conflict here is... They made it childish here, okay? This... The signs that I got in this reading is definitely Libra, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Strongly. I just feel like you're not doing anything about it because I, I just feel like... It's, it's like it's it's this person has to stand up for this connection. I don't know what else to say here. They're upright. It's time for maybe you both. I don't think you should actually involve yourself in whatever this is. This is something that this person has to do on their own here. Okay. 
If this is a third party, they have to take care of that fucking third party on their own. I don't feel like you should actually be involved, okay? Engagement. Your love life is inceding to a higher level of commitment here, okay? Stay optimistic about your love life here, okay? Keep an open mind, okay? Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation here. Children, your love life being affected by children here. It could be an immature ass person involved or it could be a child involved, which I doubt here. I feel like this is an immature ass person that's trying to bring some type of setbacks and delays here. They're not setting back shit. It's just like, are you still going to sit around and beg for attention? Kind of desperate, right? I'm going to pull from the meditation messages here. Cause in four minutes, I'll never have my girl again. Cautious, okay? Somebody is very cautious. This is Queen of Swords energy. Because, yeah, cautious of evil here. Yeah. Somebody is just, like, really evil. It's kind of it's kind of comical, though. It's like a, a child that... A child that's not getting their way. Because clearly, whoever's in a situation with this conflict and challenge here is a child, okay? You know they are lying. You know they are lying, okay? Somebody's very passive-aggressive here, okay? Somebody speaks the truth. This Queen of Swords energy, okay? Somebody is cleansing or somebody is cleansing their self, okay? I feel like you may be somebody who speaks the truth here. You speak out. Your intuition is on point here. Make sure your boots are laced up here. Somebody about to be whooping some ass is what I'm getting here. Somebody is a motivational speaker. This Queen of Swords here. Okay. Somebody got Libra in 11th house. Libra in the third house. Definitely Libra is involved here. Okay. Somebody, not somebody, a rainy day could be very significant, okay? Somebody feels abandoned, okay? So, you know, there's a little child or an immature-ass person that's feeling abandoned here, okay? Because somebody is better in yourself. But they're still childish, okay? So, Virgo in the, ninth, in the ninth house here, okay? Aquarius in the fourth house, okay? Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, energy could be very significant, Number six, six can be very significant here. Heal your soul and heal others. A better day, a better you, okay? Six, six could be very significant. Six, six, six could be very significant. Mental health, okay? This, this definitely have a lot to do with some mental health. Somebody may have been dealing with a third party who have mental health issues. Yeah, overcoming addictions here, okay? So just know that... This person is over, your person is overcoming addictions here, okay? It may not have been easy for this person. And I'm not saying that this person should have a pass or anything, but it probably was not hard, was not easy for this person to overcome addictions, okay? So, you know, nobody's perfect, all right? You will always be my sunshine, all right? You will always be my sunshine. Somebody lives in a gated community here, okay? Somebody's in the army, okay? Or considering to be in the army here. But this is all I got for you guys. I hope this is very helpful for you guys. Again, these are timeless noted messages. If these messages resonate with you, give me a likey, likey, likey. Subscribe, 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 you guys. Love you guys. Smooches.